assalamu alaikum students this is the second part of my lecture on communication skills in the first part i have discussed the definition of communication skills the importance of communication skills and different principles of communication skills while in this lecture i'm going to discuss the seven c's of communication skills and i'm sure that this lecture is going to be very productive very informative and very interesting as well so let's start it as you know that this is the second part of my first lecture and here again i am discussing communication skills so in first lecture i have discussed communication skills in detail uh with its definition with its uh, importance and with all the principles of communication skill but here uh i'll discuss some more information about communication skills but before that i just want to recall your uh concept i just want to revise the definition of communication skills before any other discussion so as you know that communication skills is a process of interaction it is a process of uh, communication it is a process of negotiation to understand and be understood by others and uh, communication skills is considered as an ability to use different kinds of information and it involves listening speaking observing and empathizing so through listening through speaking through observing and through empathizing we can share we can understand others a point of view others knowledge other information and communication skills uh, helps us to understand the differences in how to communicate through face to face interaction and it helps us understand the phone conversations and the digital communications like email and social media so communication skill is very important is a source of sharing information is an ability to to uh, understand uh, to share the feelings of others uh, to empathize to observe to speak to listen uh, to others and understand their views so without communication the life is so difficult you can say that uh, communication represent you communication uh, is a part of your personality so uh, we should improve ourselves in communication skills it is very important uh, for the success of our life here i want to discuss the origin of seven c's of communication that this idea is presented by the university of wisconsin professor scott munson cutlip and the ellen h center this idea was first presented in their book effective public relations and this book was published in 1952 it was the first textbook in the field of public relations that introduced the seven c's of communication so uh, here uh, the professor scott munson cutlip has discussed the public relations strategies and tactics that are increasingly used as a weapon of power in in all the communications like the political economical and it causes the competition in the public opinion marketplace so uh, the seven c's of communication uh, is very important in our daily uh, language 
whatever our field is whatever our work is whatever our social circle is but the seven c's of communication is very important in our language students uh, when we communicate all the day long at home at work and with our next door neighbors and with our social circle or our sports club or our family member then we communicate verbally non verbally and in writing and unfortunately the message does not always come across as intended noise this can be lead to miscommunication and small misunderstanding or the wrong impressions so the seven c's of communication um that are also known as the seven principles of communication are a useful way to ensure good and business communication so in the seven c's of communication provides a useful checklist as a result of which both written and verbal communication pass off in a clear plain target and group oriented and well structured manner so let's see what are the seven c's of communication then we will discuss all of them one by one here are the seven c's of communication which are applicable to both written as well as oral communication and these are as follows completeness concreteness courtesy correctness clarity consideration and conciseness so let's discuss them all one by one completeness completeness is very important in communication if a message is complete then it will convey all the fact all the uh, required information to the receiver or to the audience and if a message is based on the facts then it must be complete in itself while the complex message needs additional information or explanation students completeness means as a whole like a uh, a good subdivision of subject will clarify the message as a result of which there will be a complete overview of what is said so it must be whole in it it must be complete in all the aspects so complete communication develops and enhances a reputation of that person or organization because it leaves no question in the mind of re receiver and it persuades the receiver it persuades the audience when communication is complete then it will make your good reputation and complete uh, communication always helps in better decision making uh, and it helps in every aspect of communication uh, in negotiation and it will get all desired and uh, uh, you can say the complete sort of information in it so complete means as a whole that covers all the aspects of your com um, communication and other important c of communication is concreteness concreteness like completeness uh, is also very important and uh, concrete communication is about the clarity about the clear message and uh, concreteness uh, always supported the factual material such as research data and figures so concreteness is basically something that provides the basics of information 
and it empowers your communication it give the strength to your communication and your confidence when the words are clear then uh, it will build your reputation your image in your social circle so concrete concreteness is very important so the concrete words uh, used uh, in the sentence structure can be interpreted univocally univocally means uh, having the one aspect and uh, we can say that univocal uh, interpretation means the unambiguous interpretation having only one possible meaning so concreteness provide a brief authentic information the con concrete information and uh, uh, there is only a one meaning one aspect of that information so uh, it will enhance your authenticity it will it enhance your image that your words are the uh, have the power your words have the strength to convince other so con concrete messages are not misinterpreted because there is no other way to interpret that message there is nothing left in the imaginations courtesy courtesy is an other important c of communication courtesy means showing of politeness and respect in one's attitude and behavior so this term courtesy shows a respect for the receiver for the audience and it contributes towards the effective communication so courtesy is very important uh, as far as your communication is concerned when you are uh, listening to someone and you are sharing your own point of view then you have to be courteous in your communication so in addition to considering the feelings and point of view of the target group it is important to approach the audience in a friendly and courteous manner so uh, be friendly be uh, respectful be polite in your communication that is what courtesy means so uh, and uh, the last point the last but not least that it is not at all biased communication fine that you should respect others point of view you should listen to others point of view you should empathize others feelings other emotions other uh, communication and then you will share your own point of view that is what courtesy means correctness is an other important c of communication correctness means that your message is exact your message is correct and your message is well timed so the correct use of language has the preference and it boost up your confidence level it boost up your communication skill it enhance your personality as well so correctness in communication implies that stylistic lapses the stylistic mistakes and stylistic uh, faults and the grammatical errors must be avoided so the correct message has great impact on the reader or the audience so your communication and the correct use of language increases trustworthiness and it shows and it feels that the receiver will feel that they are taken seriously correctness in communication is important because it checks the precision and accurateness of facts and figures that are used in that message in that communication so uh, this is all about correctness in communication clarity is an other important c of communication clear or plain language clear or plain message a brief language 
is characterized by explicitness means explicitness means the state that is stated clearly and there is no ambiguity there is no confusion in it so a plain language a clear language is characterized by explicitness short sentences and concrete words it means that in clear language there is no room for fuzzy language and the fuzzy language is forbidden the un, uh, the ambiguous language the ambiguity is forbidden in clarity fine see the next point that clear message makes use of exact appropriate and concrete words so when the words are exact appropriate and concrete then your sentence or your message is clear to receiver or the audience so by avoiding parenthesis parenthesis means the phrase a word that has a detail in context a phrase uh, so uh, we should avoid uh, parenthesis in our language and keeping to the point that the receiver will get a clear picture of the content of the message about the context of the message about the basic um, element the basic idea about the message so we should avoid parenthesis and uh, we should make our language as clear as possible the last point that briefly worded information emphasizes the essence of the message your brief words your concrete words your clear words your complete words emphasizes the essence of the message so it means that the complete clarity of thoughts and ideas enhance your meaning of message that was Uh, that word clarity is that it will enhance your ideas your thoughts and it will give the clarity of concept uh, to the uh, to your message concentration is an other important key of communication concentration implies like the stepping into the shoes of other and it is uh, related with communicating with the target group so effective communication must take the audience into consideration must take the targeted group into the consideration and uh, here it is important to know uh, audience view point their background their mindset their education level and many other factors like uh, uh, we should make an attempt to envisage the audience their requirement their emotion as well as their problems and uh, we should ensure the self respect of audience uh, that should be maintained and the emotions are not at harm so we should modify the words uh in our message to suit the audience needs while making uh, our message complete so it means that we are more concerned with the receiver with the audience so we should empathize with the audience and exhibit interest in them in the receiver or in audience so this will stimulate a positive reaction from audience and the last thing that we should show optimism towards audience we should show optimism towards the receiver of the message that it uh, it is important to build a strong connection between the sender and the receiver so empathize on what is possible rather than what is impossible and 
you should lay stress on the positive words such as uh, like the thanks or the healthy connection or the warm welcome like these type of sentence these type of formal sentence create a strong bondage between the sender and the receiver conciseness conciseness means the wordiness for example communicating what you want to convey in least possible words without foregoing the other seas of communication it means that the use of limited words but those limited words should convey the complete message conciseness is the necessity for effective communication it means that you should not use the fuzzy language you should not use the extra words you should not add uh, other gestures other other words that has multiple meanings so conciseness means to convey your complete and clear message with limited words so concise communication provides a short and essential message in limited words concise message is more appealing more comprehensible to receiver and audience and the basic quality of conciseness is of course that concise message is not repetitive in nature there is no repetition of words there is no repetition of the statements in the concise message students our seven seas of communications are complete now but here uh, there is a new variation about the seven seas of communication i and it is uh, my duty to tell you about the updated uh, seven seas of communication uh, the new variation about uh, the seven seas of communication added the two new points that the seven seas of communication have two more variations that are often overlooked namely creativity and credibility creativity uh, when a text will only be lively when the words and the sentence structure are used creatively and when short sentences are alternated with longer sentences and creativity is especially it is important in text in which the search words are used it is essential that the search words are constantly used in different settings and the next one is credibility and credibility means that by creating an atmosphere of trust in your conversation or text then you will add credibility to the message and this can be achieved by a clear and striking tone which indicates that the information you are discussing contains the right information so this is the new variation two new variation about the seven seas of communication and, uh, and this is all about seven seas of communication okay students thank you very much this is all about the seven seas of communication now the first uh, content of our course outline that is communication skill is completed here and soon uh, we will start new topic uh, under this course